when we start thinking about what uh, what is the impact of bond it is so diverse and so extended that it's difficult to know where to start because a lot of it is even intangible and a lot of it we don't know about it so bond is having an extraordinary impact let's take just the uh, first figures um, we have now an outreach on our dissemination on collective action to more than 360,000 people and we are followed on the our website our tools for collective action all the things we've been developing the methodologies by 123 countries of which 42 are european so we've been developing different activities and uh, for example, the national workshops, the policy roundtables, we have more than 814 people who have attended that, which means that uh, half of it was farmers and the others were policy makers, they were um, uh, private sector uh, from academia. So it was a truly multi-stakeholder events. And that is mushrooming everywhere because all these connections, all the alliances that were created there are continuing now, are evolving. Uh, if we think about the initial targets we were planning to have just, and we had at the beginning, 60 representatives of farm organizations. And now we have 166 and it just goes on. The same happened with the training of trainers. The initial target was 20 people and then we added eight more because we had a lot of success with the gaming the gaming techniques for negotiation and then we added again 54 more trainings and training of trainer and 54 people who benefited so all these now it's like a snowball it's developing in the different countries so we hear from our representatives what's happening and uh, for example in poland you have martin who has made a, um, an organization now as sort of a network for the pasture-fed livestock. And uh, you have not only the producers, but also for the selling of the produce. Then we have Martin in Czech Republic. He was producing cheese from goats. He changed now. He went in the UK and was with the Land Worker Alliance and had got some training. And now he's um, opened a place for new entrants in agriculture training and also for vegetable and CSAs, community supported agriculture. In Albania, they have developed a new logo, which is called the heart of the mountain. And there are new groups of people promoting local produce and also uh, ecotourism. Everywhere, everywhere in all the countries, the new ideas and the new groups are just continuing to evolve. If we take the um, the partners of the consortium now. The impact of bond is significant. Uh, at the political level, for example, take uh, Portugal, CNA, which is the Confederación Nacional de Agricultura. They have uh, been working very closely with the government, developed a family farming status, which is now a legal process with the facilitation for funding and recognition. And now they're also working about uh, small farming and agroecology and small farms in times of crisis, the COVID-19, and what to do and best practices. And that has come also through the bond, all the techniques, the facilitation techniques, the tools, the learnings, the methods. It has uh, facilitated all these processes at national level. Land Worker Alliance, the same. They had their uh, national workshop. They are being very influential now on the new agriculture bill in the UK. And Bonn has participated also to that. Because in Romania, uh, at the time of the national workshop, Romania was president, had the presidency in the EU. And that was an important moment for the CAP. And the outcome of these Bond events was uh, policies, policies, and now a new alliance on food sovereignty and uh, they were having weekly meetings with the government too. Uh, the So many, every partner has a story to say. In the Czech Republic, uh, with Bond, and uh, they now created a new organization. There was one a coalition which was for, for climate, and now they created a coalition for agriculture. And they're also now leading 
the CSA, Community Supported Agriculture, in Czech Republic. Uh, the words of our partners are very clear. They say Bond was an eye-opener and we forgot about our fears. We dare go ahead and go with other stakeholders we wouldn't sit together before and just use the tools of negotiation, vision, and uh, realize that we were not so far apart and we were able to move on. And the move on is very tangible because we now have 12 memoranda of understanding, means these are signed agreements of collaboration. Um, and we have so much because we have a, the legacy, what will be the legacy for Bond, which is the barn and all the stories of collective action. Because when we started the project, we had uh, the study tours, 10 representatives in each one of six countries. And the hosts presented example, interesting stories about collective action. And now in the barn, we have, uh, we're moving on, we'll have 30 and 40 and 50 and 60 stories of collective action throughout Europe that everyone is sharing with us. And then we put it on our website and then people can hear and learn about what the others are doing and get inspired and also contact the person and be in touch. And um, yes, forget about fears, be inspired, understand the importance of collective action.